In my opinion, Supergirl always does a terrible job with her villains. Rain was kind of an exception, as she was pretty damn great at first. But as season 3 went on, she became the usual big bad alien Supergirl had to punch. So far, Agent Liberty was nothing to get excited about. But an origin episode devoted completely to his character this early in the season is definitely a step in the right direction for this show to take. Not only does it immediately give Agent Liberty solidarity in the season, but it also makes him compelling and a character to care about that most of the other Supergirls don't get till near the, se till near the end of the season, if they get it at all. The only thing that's annoying about all this is that Agent Liberty probably won't be that important to the overall season. So I'll be sad if the real big bad doesn't get this compelling and good kind of treatment that Liberty is getting. Spoilers for the episode from this point on. So right off the bat, I'm just going to say that titling the episode Man of Steel was a really poor decision. Sure. After watching the episode, it completely makes sense why he why um, it was titled this. But for the weeks leading up to the release of this episode, one would come to the assumption that Superman would be making an appearance, and even looking at the description of the episode, I was guessing they'd have Clark be of some importance to Ben's origin, but Superman doesn't even get a reference in the entire episode, as far as I can remember. Sam Withwer sold me on Ben Lockwood immediately. From the first scene to the last, with him I liked his character. Yeah, he's a horrible guy, he's xenophobic, a terrorist, and about half a dozen other things. But with, her, but with what makes him so damn likeable, and his fall from grace throughout the episode was brilliant. We start with him being the good guy, shutting down his racist father every time he's intolerant. But as the episode goes on, and the alien invasions continue to get worse and worse, taking a bigger and bigger toll on Ben's life, we slowly see him become his father and the thing he once hated. Sure, a lot of the things that happened were a bit too convenient and seemed like the writers trying to clean up a few plot points that had holes in them, but overall there wasn't much to complain about from his origin. Also, just like Flash has been doing this season, this episode was kind of a trip down memory lane. We saw Kara's speech from season 1, the Daxamite and Rain invasions from seasons 2 and 3, we saw Cat Grant on the background of one of the scenes too. We also had a few nice little nods and references to the wider DC universe, with Coast City name dropped, the home of the home city of Hal Jordan's Green Lantern, and the city's been mentioned uh, and featured many times in both Arrow and Flash. The mysterious Ent Metal also played a big part in the episode. We've seen Ent Metal a bunch in Legends of Tomorrow, since it is important in the lore of Hawkman and Hawkgirl, but I think this is the first time we've seen it or heard it mentioned on Supergirl. Last week, I said that the protest scene at the beginning of episode 2 was a lot like the protest scene in Batman v Superman. Well, I found another parallel this time around. When Ben is running through the streets while there's a raging battle around him, it kind of reminded me of when Bruce is running, through, uh, is running through Metropolis at the start of Batman v Superman, when it does the parallel of showing um, the end battle of Man of Steel in Metropolis. It kind of parallels here, you know, we see Ben running through National City, which is a parallel to the season 3 final of the show, when the rain invasion is happening. We also finally get to see Kara's great Power Ranger suit that we first saw back in the trailer for season 4, and I gotta say that I like the reason behind why she got the new suit. Although I have a feeling this is all to cover up the fact that Melissa uh, Benoist hasn't been in episodes as much since she was doing Broadway during a lot of the filming. It was great nonetheless. Like, um, she wasn't in this episode much at all. I think she had maybe two scenes total, but um, because she's on Broadway a lot now, so they do this and she's not going to be in much in the next episodes because they're going to have a stunt double be in the Supergirl suit, I'm assuming, which are some voiceovers. And finally, just a shout out to Agent Liberty getting his own team or his, uh, his theme, and I loved it. So straight off, this episode was a ton better than the last two weeks. This episode was a focused, well-written hour of television that functioned to give us a ton of plot and character development for the person who will be our antagonist for the foreseeable future, and this episode is an 8 out of 10 in my book. So thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider uh, liking and subscribing. Thank you. Bye.